you knew everybody and you, you could I don't say you'd go in and out the houses but they were very friendly open especially old year's night <laughs> that was a good night across the street <laughs> but it was open house when the pubs uh, came out most people would would go home see the new year in the tomb and then set off uh, and sometimes if a light was on at the house they kind of knew they'd just knock at the door and they may be the first foot you know or greet it you couldn't go in empty handed you either had to take your whiskey and if you didn't drink, you took the black bun. The, the, um, the cake that was made every for um, New Year, you know, just a plain cake, and it had like a, a crispy shell on it. Well, this was a Scottish one, mine. It was, and we all called it the black bun. It was very uh, crunchy. Most houses, they would boil a ham and uh, cook ham, you know, and do broth. And ham sandwiches are just loose ham with pickles and beetroot and things like that. Rabbit pie, put it meat and things like that, you know, the tasty things, savoury things. Also sweet mince pies. They would maybe put a spread out on the table, some people, of what they had. I suppose to fortify them having a drink, you know. And it just went on all night. That was first footing. If the light was on, you could knock at the door. If there were no lights on, that means you didn't, they didn't want uh, first footers in, you know. That was just the the way it went. If the light's on, you can look at the door. <laughs> Started school at five, went to the council school in Dispensary Street, which was a mile to walk in the morning because there was no path through from Swansfield to the police station. Then we walked home for our dinner, walked back again and then back at night. And that was four miles a day for a five-year-old. And we were always told as children, don't go home through Union Court. Union Court is where the bus station is now. So being natural children, we wondered why we hadn't to come home through Union Court. So at one point, I remember there would be maybe six, eight of us and we would go through Union Court and it was really dreadful. The conditions that people must have lived in and I remember the smell of cabbage and rabbits hanging from the odd door where obviously the men have been away poaching. Well, they seem to be old men. They would probably be 40. Um, sitting there at the door with clay pipes and and it was dreadful. It yes. was like something out of Dickens. The history of the house starts in May 1905 when the Duke of Northumberland sold some land to a Robert Clavering Scott, who was an ironmonger, uh, for £135, 8 shillings. And Robert Scott was 48 years old at this time. According to the deeds, he, Mr Scott, was required to build a house before the 1st of March 1906, the following year. The building must be used as a dwelling house for one family and must not be used as flats or as a shop, nor for wholesale or retail sale of liquors and spirits, nor could a trade be conducted from the house. So presumably the house was built um, in early 1906. Um, it is of a random rubble solid stone construction according to a building survey carried out in 1989. Um, interestingly the plans of the house show it's slightly different from how it actually ended up because at the front they, at the moment there's one bay window uh, but the plans of the house show two bay windows. It's um, a large house there's uh, two living rooms downstairs, a kitchen, uh, a, a utility room downstairs and upstairs there's seven bedrooms and the reason for this is that uh, Mr and Mrs Scott had nine children so there's four first floor bedrooms and three attic bedrooms, large attic bedrooms. He was an ironmonger and he owned the shop that is present called House and Home which essentially is still uh, an ironmonger's on the uh, Clayport Street uh, in the centre of Annick. Next door to Nancy was the um, King Horns and they had a shop in the house. <laughs> Wouldn't be allowed now. Hygiene was not in it in those days. Because as you went through the back door, the, the toilet was there. 
then you, you went through and the door was always not open to the toilet but open to the kitchen and then alongside the little kitchen was that bench with all the sweeties on and tins of rice and things like this and the, the lemonade bottles were piled up at the side where you could get your lemonade but then the sink and all where they cooked was just like maybe four, not even four foot apart from the food and then the bathroom was just there so no hygiene at all. And with being the youngest, I used to get my brother's um, sweetie coupons. And uh, my mother would say, now, get something. Make sure it's wrapped. Don't take sweeties at all dry. When I was young, it was gas lights. And going up the stairs, there was a gas lamp, something like that, on the staircase going up. The council decided that they would put electric light downstairs. But if you wanted it upstairs, now I can't tell you the truth whether it was £5 or £10, but you had to pay a sum to have it put upstairs. Amazing, isn't it? They were getting longer and longer for the doing, you see. Now they would go to the bottom one 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 uh, weekend. Now the next weekend they went away two days quicker and they went over to Brussels. Uh, there was two horses from Brussels and the longest one was Luxembourg. If you got the, the wind back of them, sometimes they could be back from Luxembourg and you know, you would, you would say it was impossible. But if the wind was back of them, it made a good go, you know. And then we done in uh, 10 hours before. I mean, that's, that's over 500 mile, you know. They just went through like bullets, man. Now, if the wind was in their face, oh, you were there for the night, and then sometimes near that night, and you had to be there first thing in the morning, and you would get an odd one or two come through first thing in the morning. It's still going, but there's not the quantity of pigeons now. And a lot of the old fellas has died out, and the younger ones... It's very few young ones that will go into anything like that now because they're tied all year round.